Ezra Yuji, can you answer this question? All Why right. did you choose Aisaka over Kawashima and Kushida? <laughs> What's up guys, this is Aperture115 and I am here with Eric Scott Kimmer at AnimeCon. How's it going? It's going well. It's been a fun day so far. It was a wave of auditions that I got for different shows, uh, one after the other, and Afterscore was one of them. I just, I never heard of it uh, when I first read for it, but of course I can always count on my roommate to be an encyclopedic knowledge of all things anime. Um, but again, I was, it was not something I was familiar with, but I got a, a chance to read on it and did my best. Of course, it's what you do with any audition. A uh, couple of, I think it was like a month later, I was in recording for One Punch Man at Speed of Sound Sonic, and Mommy, the casting director of, of things, not my mommy, but M A M I, Mommy. Mommy Okada. Mommy Okada, yes. I don't know how many people out in the anime universe are aware of that, but I always got to clarify. So she comes up to me and just goes, um, yeah, you're going to be a little busy now. So uh, we got this show for you. I, as soon as I heard that, I went home. I sat down and watched through the entire thing. And it's rare for me to find the time to do that for anime. And it was weird that Astra's Core would be the one to get me to sit through all of it um, when I hadn't even watched all of Your Lie in April or One Punch Man or anything like that. But we were just having a lot of fun with it. Uh, and as soon as Sarah got cast as well, uh, my roommate, we. We're always, we always love when we get to play off of each other, we get to do characters and scenes together. So we sat down and we were just having so much fun going, oh, I get to do this now, and oh my gosh, you get to ride a mech, and you get to, you get to blast through this, and oh, I, re I achieved Super Saiyan level two, and just enjoying the, the moments that we will get to play. And certainly enough, we did have a lot of fun in the booth getting to play those moments. It was fun front to back, honestly. Yes, yes. Uh, Mob Psycho is, uh, is the latest Funimation release, I believe. Well, no, they've got, they've got like a release a week nowadays. But it, it's a show that was originally from a webcomic written by One, who also wrote the webcomic for One Punch Man that eventually became the anime. And it's got a lot of the same zaniness, I'd say, a lot of the same high-octane energy to it, but it's different in the sense that it's a more serialized show whereas One Punch Man can be more episodic it's more kind of parody of anime and stuff like that so it's just bringing in all these tropes and 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 having fun with them each episode whereas Mob Psycho has an, an arcing story and character uh, arc to it so apples and oranges I can't really compare the two shows but I had fun playing on both of them again it's the same kind of manic energy you'd get in both shows as One Punch Man mm -hmm. um can you say a line as Ayato? As Ayato. Oh man. Like the only lines I can remember as Ayato are screaming my head off when he's getting the chains the on chains, it. The chains, yeah, the curse. Yeah, yeah. But um, I, another one I would always say is Ulyss. Just all the times I would always have to go Ulyss, Ulyss. Just <laughs> <laughs> I would have to say that name so many times. Uh, I'm trying to remember any specific lines because. And when you're in the booth, you, you get the script right there. You don't get the benefit of memorizing the script before you go in, so not a lot of them get to stick, and people are like, oh, can you say your catchphrase? I don't even know what my catchphrase is. I'm trying to remember what Ayato said when he was breaking free from the, from the sword. You know, I'm just gonna do uh, one of his standard uh, Amagiri, Shinmei style, second form, twin wasps! <laughs> I, always, I had to do the Amagiri Shinmei style so many times, and I, I, we had to have a good laugh at that because sometimes he'd say uh, first, store, first sword or second sword and sometimes he would say beginner style or intermediate style so <laughs> it was just like oh Amagiri Shinmei style just meh style. Wow. Um, and also because you know I'm a huge Toradora fan. Oh yeah. Can you like okay. Uh, Ezra Yuji can you answer this question? All Why right. did you choose Aisaka over Kawashima and Kushida? Now, I know Aisaka is a little hot-tempered, and I know with uh, Ami, you get a little bit more straightforwardness. She's a little bit more down-to-earth. She doesn't speak in metaphors all the time. But look, Aisaka simply is the, uh, the fiery counter to my, my 
understated cool personality, I guess you would call it. It's not very cool. It's uh, people think I'm a thug, but I take it in stride, but sometimes you need a little bit more emotion. So Taiga handles that, that balance well for me, I think. Nice. She is the yin to my yang. Wow. <laughs> Palm top tiger. All right. Mm -hmm. um, last question. Where can yeah. fans follow you on social media? Yes, and indeed. You have a website, too. I have a website under construction, Eric Scott VO. That's E-R-I-K Scott V-O dot com. And my Twitter handle is ekimmerer, E-K-I-M-E-R-E-R. -E -E and you can also find me on Facebook at Eric Scott VO as well. Are you still doing Twitch streams? I'm trying to do more of that. It's mm -hmm. hard when I it's... I miss them. I know. I want to do more. I miss them too. I try to do Twitch streams under King Chimera. If you ever catch me on a good day, I'll, I'll be uh, tweeting it out and, and doing some, I don't know, WWE 2K17 or Overwatch or something like that. I have a lot of fun interacting with the fans that way. Uh, so just keep an eye on my Twitter, and if I ever get free time, which is a novel concept, I will definitely be doing more of that. Sweet. Yeah. Eric, thank you so much Absolutely. for your time. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having awesome. me. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you guys on the next Aperture 115 interview. Too, too sweet, me, man. Too sweet. Boom.